Good day everyone, this is Jason Santos and for today we are going to continue discussing business math and we are now in chapter 4, commissions, types and samples of commissions and computations. So let's get started. Before we start, let me plug a fellow uh, vlogger and a teacher, Ms. Crystal May Santos. Uh, you can check out her YouTube channel called Math Minute. She's also teaching a lot of math-related uh, subjects. And uh, please do check her channel out. You can see some of the topics or deep topics that are being discussed on the channel. So please do us a favor and uh, support uh, my fellow teacher and vlogger. So we are now already at the second quarter uh, covering different types of commissions, how do you compute for them, the types of commissions, and um, how is it applied in overall business, okay? So again, this is based from MELCS, uh, issued by DepEd. And um, first off, we have to uh, define what commission is all about. So I'm sure most of you already know what commission is, but for the sake of just defining it, um, commission is paid to an employee or a company as an incentive. Right, let me underscore that. So when you say incentive, this is uh, something on top of what you are already earning. Uh, this works like a bonus or um, a plus. So it encourages people or workers to sell more. Para mas makabenta ka na mas madami. That's why commissions are placed. Okay? Um, and a commission is generally a percentage of sales. So it plays a certain percent uh, of your uh, overall sale let's say the amount of the sale is uh, 1 million and it you would only get a portion of the total amount okay so there are actually several types or different types of commissions now uh, we can say we can use all of them but uh, for the sake of uh, for the for this um, discussion we will only be tackling or discussing three okay there's straight commission graduated salary bonus and sales commission but um, again we will just cover three of these okay so first when you say straight commission from the word itself it's given straight derecho no uh, it is a compensation method in which the salesperson only gets the percentage of the sales volume and there is no fixed salary. So, wala siyang fixed salary. Um, an example of those would be travel agents, retail agents, pharmaceutical agents, real estate agents, and insurance agents. Again, uh, this is not, uh, I'm, when I'm saying that, it does not mean exclusively, okay, that all of the workers that I have mentioned are straight commission. It does not mean that, okay. We are just using examples. Like for example, for my case, no, um, I'm working as a teacher, but at the same time, I am also a part-time insurance agent. And that is straight commission. So I'm not, I do not have a base salary with, with that insurance, and I'm just earning from commissions. So that's how straight commission works. Okay, like for example, let, let's have these following examples. No? Um, let's say the insurance agent sells 1 million uh, worth of insurance, a protection plan that's worth 1 million. And then the commission is 7%. Okay, again, this may vary. This is just an example. So what we will just do is, it's very simple. We just have to multiply it. So 1 million multiplied by 7%. Okay, so you would get 70,000. All right, the insurance agent earns 70,000 as a commission. Now, if the real uh, another example would be a real estate broker, yun yung mga nagbebenta ng house and lot, um condo units, um commercial spaces, etc. Let's say that agent sold a 2.5 million house and gets a 5% commission. So again, you would just have to multiply it. 2.5 million times 5%. And then, you would get the, the commission, which is 125,000. Now, let's...
let's go to the next example, which is a salary plus commission. So from the term, term itself, there is a salary now. So with salary comp uh, commission, it is a compensation method or scheme in which the salesperson do not only get a percentage, but also a fixed salary is paid. A common example of that would be car sales uh, agents. Because um, I have several students who are, are students, former students, who are now working for uh, car dealerships like Ford, um, Mitsubishi, Toyota, etc. Uh, so they are, uh, they have a basic salary. And then on top of that, they are earning commission. So, kumikita sila ng commission depending on how much they have sold and how many they have sold. So, that's a perfect example of a um, worker who works for salary plus commission. So, a car sales agent whose monthly salary is 18000 for example. And then, he or she sold a unit worth 1.2 million pesos. And then earns a 3% commission. So, how much will he earn by the end of the month? So, take note, ah, meron siyang salary, which is 18,000. And then, there's a commission with a rate of uh, 3%, uh, depending on the sales amount. So, 1.2 million multiplied by 3% is 36,000. So, the insurance agent would then get 36,000 commission on top, no, bukod doon sa kanyang 18,000 monthly salary. So overall, by the end of the month, we could say that this insurance agent, uh, sorry, this car sales agent would get 54,000 pesos. Okay? So, finally, we have the last example, which is a graduated slash incremental commission. So, ano naman yung difference neto? No? Let's define it first. Is, it is a compensation method wherein the commission depends on the amount of sale made. So, in your keyword, na not, it depends. Okay? This type of commission is earned as a percentage of sales increases incrementally, incrementally with the increase in the sales volume. So, as the sales volume increases, the rate increases. I'll show you that later. No? Generally, it's used by a business to incentivize the sales force for better performance. So, example, seasoned real estate agents. Ito mga real estate agents na malakihan yung mga deals na kanilang nasasara. No? So, for example, here, let's look first at the table. Ano? Let me uh, emphasize the table here. Notice that as the sales amount increases, the commission rate also increases. Now, like for 1 million, it's 5% commission, 2 million is 7%, 3 is 9, 4 is 11, and then 5 is 13%. Okay? So, that's how a graduated and incremental commission works. So, let's say this real estate agent sells two units. Now, the first one is 1.5 million row house, maliit na bahay, and a 3 million two-story 80 square meter house and lot. So, with those two examples or those two units the real estate agent sold, he will now qualify for different commission rates, right? So, 1.5 million qualifies under the 5% commission rate. Thus, he has a 75,000 um, commission. Why? Uh, it's because the sale has not broken the ceiling for 2 million. It has not, it has not yet uh, earned or qualified in that level. Thus, it, it it's not um, uh, qualified to earn 7% commission rate. Now, for the second one, since it's already in the same level or sales amount, as stipulated in our table, then that uh, sale would qualify or merit a commission rate of 9%. So, 3 million multiplied by 9%, it's 270,000. Now, you, ju you would just add both of it. Okay. So, overall, the real estate agent would earn 345,000 through the graduated or incremental commission scheme. So, very easy. Uh, overall, for all the three examples that we have, you just have to multiply it. So, finally, 
let's have this assignment for everyone, right? So you can do it on your own. Uh, all you would have to do is identify the type of commission scheme used in the given problems and then also solve for the commission. If you would like to know the answer to this, just send me a message or feel free to PM me. Now that uh, wraps up our discussion, very short discussion for today. Uh, again, my apologies if I have not uploaded the past week because of uh, the tight schedule with modules creation as well as um, examinations for some subjects. So uh, please uh, feel free to follow me on all the social media uh, platforms stated here, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and uh Send me a message if you have questions or concerns. And uh, with that, thank you so much for watching this uh, vlog. And uh, just uh, let me see you again on our next uh, meeting. Thank you so much. To God be all the glory.